We finally have like official news on a date and time for the Lunar New Year event, which is fantastic. And also, I was right about the card game. It's it's not it's not gonna be like Gwent though, but I was right about the card game. Singularity Six drops some news about the Lunar New Year event, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Singularity Six goes and says, celebrate the year of the dragon of Pelia with the Lunar New Year. Do you enjoy ringing in the new year by making wishes, playing a game of hot pot, and spotting dragon fireworks we sure do well we sure are just excited for an update so thank christ for that so we won't be dragging our feet to celebrate lunar new year on tuesday january 30th well you, you did drag your feet a little bit my <laughs> When the time-limited Maju Market in-game event returns to the Kilima Village Fairgrounds for our Lunar New Year celebration. There it is, folks. January 30th, we are getting the update. We've all been excited for this, patch 0 0.176. And the the game, the card game, looks kind of sick from the trailer. It looks fun. It, like I said, it's definitely not what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a trading card game. But it, it still looks a lot of fun. And it's the first step towards an actual competition towards other players as well. Players familiar with Maji Market remember the sights and sounds of the lively night market brimming with small town spirit and flair. It's a communal space where folks of all ages gather to enjoy sweet and savory treats, play games, earn prizes, and collect all kinds of goodies from a plethora of new merchant vendors with lucky envelopes. So there's gonna be a bunch of mini games in the Lunar New Year. We saw something in the trailer. In the trailer we saw the Choppa Chase is back, the car game, and Zeki's Roulette. We'll go and get into that in a second. But they definitely learned from the previous Maji Market where they needed more. They needed more stuff for us to do outside of beating the drums and shooting a firework in the air and chasing Choppas. Also, I'm gonna break down something I saw in the trailer once we get through everything that they talked about in this blog post. But they think they're slick. They think they're slick, but they're not. I caught it. Players can expect to see so much during the Lunar New Year celebration. Event goers can look forward to commenting on new beginnings, prosperity, good future, and more through exciting new and returning activities. So we get a bunch of new things here. New quests, visit and revisit the Maji Market for the opportunity to complete three wishful quest lines that ring in the Lunar New Year. You'll also learn more about Zeki and the meaning of making a wish. So we have lore. We're gonna be, we have a lore video coming. Look at that. The wish tree, dye your wish ribbon to hang on the wish tree and perhaps Maji will grant your wish. Wish I can romance muscle mommy Sifu, but I don't think that's gonna be happening. Hot pot card game. Gather around one of many communal hot pots and kick back, relax, and enjoy a sociable card game with friends. The card game is simple to learn, but will take cooperation to master and every pillion who plays will earn some sort of lucky envelope. So you'll work together, obviously, but there's, there's gonna be a winner. It's gotta be a winner and there's gotta be a loser. All right, I don't care if everyone wins. It's the same thing as participation trophies. Sometimes the other team actually loses. Just because everyone gets a trophy does not mean there's two winners. Lucky envelopes. Players will receive lucky envelopes for participating in various activities in the Maji Market during the Lunar New Year celebration, as well as by completing the Lunar New Year event quest lines. Zeki's prize wheel, feeling lucky, Palian? Then head over to Zeki's lucky catch and give the prize wheel a spin. The good news is you can't lose. All players walk away with something useful. That's actually awesome. I'm very excited to see what kind of unique items they have in there that we could win. I think that'd be really cool. It's like the wheel of fortune, except it's Zeki. Dragon fireworks. This is something I thoroughly enjoyed in the Maji market and I'm so happy a lot of people get to experience for the first time. The Dragon Firework, it's at the dock and you have to work together and everyone's got to beat the drums and a giant firework show launches. It was so cool to see for the first time and I love doing it every single time I went to the Maji Market. The Choppa Chase, like we said, the Choppa Chase is back. Pretty much you chase Choppas, you put them in a pen. It's fun. It's a good time. Luna Year Year Rewards. Trading your earned lucky envelopes for some Luna New Year exclusive rewards from various merchant booties. I know it's not booties, it's booths, but I read booties, so I'm keeping it in. <laughs> from your various merchant booties. What's up, Kenyatta? So there's several merchant booths. First one is the Choppa Hut. Second is Red Street Specialties. Then Delilah's Sweet Treats. 
Zeki's lucky catch, and more. The limited time Lunar New Year celebration kicks off at 6 p.m. Paleo time on Tuesday, January 30th, and will end Tuesday, February 27th. Be sure to check your events tab and in game menu for more details. So, your game will be updated, and there will be an events tab where you can go and check, just like the Maju Market, where you can see how much lucky tickets you have, what you can redeem them for. Going through the trailer, of the Maji Market Luna New Year, I noticed a few things. So yeah, we have the card game, I'm very excited for that, but we have new emotes and outfits coming. They look awesome. Yeah, it says we can make a wish and win prizes. And you see someone obviously making a wish, yes. What I think is sick is when it says, bring home the market with you. And she walks by that vegetable that you see growing, that's bok choy. And next to that bok choy, all right, this is wobbling. Next to that bok choy was cabbage. That's sick. I guarantee it's going to be something we're going to have to buy at the Luna New Year market. It's only going to be available during that time, so do not miss this market. I guessed this a long time ago, that we're going to have traveling merchants, or you can only buy a crop during a certain event or certain time. So, bok choy is going to be one of those. I'm very excited for this. We are getting the Maji Market. We're getting a car game, we're getting recipes, we're getting crops. This is a big update and I'm hoping they patch a lot of the bugs. What are you guys excited for the most? Is it the bug patches? Cause you guys keep letting me know about that. Or is it gonna be the bok choy, the car game? That's what I'm excited for the most is the car game. I can't wait to sit down at the Maji market and absolutely destroy some people in some hot pot. <laughs> <laughs> While you're down there, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload a video. But if you want to know the very second I upload a video, the very moment, because I will annoy the shit out of you, be sure to join the Discord. We are a happy, go lucky, and fun Discord community. Except for Brutal. Brutal is a dick, but he's my best friend and I love him. He's my mod. He is he's the yin to my yang. And if you're seeing this right now. There is a chance that I'm streaming live on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash PercivalGG. After I upload a video, I go live, okay? So once you're done, once you're done commenting, be sure to hop on over and say howdy. We don't believe in strangers and everyone is welcome. But other than that, that's the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.